morning, everybody. Here's my second card for the online card class that we're doing. And this comes from the Love of Leaves, and it's a bundle. And it's this one. And I am going to do a video after this one to show you some of the cards that I've made with this set. I did a kissing technique with the leaves, which is really cool. And this card I just love. I love how it turned out. So I'll show you these later. But I do want to show you how I made this card. It is pretty simple. So this is the brushed metallic um, foil sheath that Stampin' Up! came out with. And there's some new colors in it. But I wanted to use the copper as well just because it's such a beautiful color. So what I did is I started out with these gold cards and envelopes and it's a package of 10 I think yeah a package of 10 that you get in here so you get the cards the card bases and then you get these pretty gold envelopes that go with it so I'm gonna put these to the side these are in the small catalog and of course I'll have a PDF of this but it's if you want the number it's one five three five three two so when the PDF, when I send that to you, that will all be in there. And what I did is I started out with a half a sheet of the brushed metal um, foil. And I turned it over and I attached the adhesive sheets to the back of it so that it's easy to um, put them back in. Because this is called an inlaid technique and it's really cool. So then I had some of the little pieces left over and I just used the um, punch that comes with the set um, with the autumn, I can't remember, autumn blessings maybe. But then I also used um, this rectangle stitch die. I used the big one and then I used um, the small one for the greeting and of course the greeting won't be stamped when you get yours you'll have to use your own greeting I can't send stamped images through the mail but I cut all of these out with shimmery white cardstock so I'm going to put this to the side and look these are all the leaves that come from punching these out I'm going to have to find a project for that and what I suggest is if you make this cut your paper at four and a quarter by five and a half and then you have these nice frames after you cut um, your stitched rectangle out of the center of it and then you could actually use um, these as shaker cards which I'm gonna have to come up with something and show you that so you have an idea of what to do so I just cut this out of the terracotta tile four and a quarter by five and a half so I have that rectangle frame left over so let's put this to the side and bring in the new Big Shot, which is awesome. Let me show you real quick, though, with the Love of Lee's dies. I did use some old washi tape, and I just attached these together because I was cutting out so many leaves. It's just easier to go ahead and attach them because they are two separate pieces. You can use them separately. You don't have to use them together. But for me, since I was using them together, it just makes it so much easier to cut. So this is the new Big Shot. I know I've showed it before, but I love this thing. It is awesome. So I'm going to put my dies right here. And then I'm going to show you the pieces real quick. So this is the platform, and it tells you what you need, what pieces you need to use. And they're all numbered. The only one I didn't see on here, maybe because it's new, is this new metallic or um, magnetic plate. So, and this is really interesting because you cut right on this plate. So, let me open this guy up. Let me show you real quick. It's easier. And if you're like me, you learn by seeing. That's the way I, I am very visual. So, what you want to do... And put that down you want to put your platform and then your piece that comes with it maybe this is called a shim and then your magnetic plate then what is strange and it's strange to me is you cut right on it so 
you want to put your dies on here and of course pick your one up that fell in the floor you're dropping things so you just want to put these on here and I just use my guide here and you want to make sure you know your dies can be pretty close together but you do not want them overlapping because it will wreck your dies so if you need to move them around a little bit so that you stay inside of the rectangle and then you just put this right here and the great thing about this machine is it cuts in one pass you know a lot of times um, with the old big shot you'd have to run it through two or three times to get a good cut but this one pass through and it's cut everything for me just bring this back and I like how this folds up right like this and then you can just lift it up and put it to the side these out aren't they pretty just the texture is just awesome anything stitched I just absolutely love so I'm gonna put these guys back here so you have the leaves for another project I'll put them over there and then you want to bring in your card and you could, if you wanted to, you could actually put your cardstock on an adhesive sheet too, and it would just peel off and stick down. But I didn't do that because I used so much of my adhesive sheets with the leaves that I didn't have a whole lot left over. And you do want to come down in the edges of the leaves so that they glue down really nicely for you. And so when you... This is called the inlaid technique. I don't know if I told you that or not, but it's where you cut one image out and put another image back in. So this is, it's a really fun technique, I think. You know me and techniques, I love them. So just make sure that you come all the way up to the edge, but you know, don't get heavy handed with the glue because you know, it, it makes a mess because it will squish out if you you know go crazy with it so it is a learning curve with the glue but you know it it just works so well that it is worth the extra effort so just wind this up let me do what my I love this gold around the edge of this card and I wanted to make sure that you could see it Just press it down press that little guy right down there then you just come in with your leaves and like I said they do have the adhesive on the back of them so you just peel it off and then just press these right back in and it's sticks really nicely without all of the mess of trying to get the glue on the edges you know and sometimes you have that area right there where it's um, gives you a place to stick your fingers in there and get a hold of it it pops out really nicely that way so you just want to stick this right back in And then you have a little gold one. Just peel that off. Stick that right back in. So then you will stamp something on your image. I really like this one. Happy Harvest Blessings. Um, I forget what stamp set that's from. I'm sorry I didn't that out there but it'll be on the PDF for you so you'll know which set that comes from so then these little gems 
Aren't they really pretty? I'll just pop them on here. And if you want to, you can put this down and then just put your little guy on top of it so that it sticks. And then if you have some mini glue dots, I used all of mine. Just put some glue on it. The mini glue dots do work better because they're faster drying than um, the glue in this case. And then just pop these down wherever you want them. If you want them on the leaves, if you want them on the side, wherever you like them. Isn't that pretty? And then you could even emboss on here. I want to show you real quick if I, yeah, here it is. So what I did with the ornamental um, envelopes die that I used in the first one, it comes with these um, cutouts for um, your envelopes. But isn't that really pretty? You put a different color. It would have been pretty with this color underneath too. But this is the card that I made in the beginning. And then it just evolved into this one. So this is just the envelope, or not the envelope, but the card. And I just cut the leaves out of the card itself. And then came back in and put a piece of paper on the inside to um, make it sturdier. But I like how that turned out. So if you have any questions, I will be back with another few videos to show you ideas for using this stamp set. And just press these down and you're good to go. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.